Good evening. I'm Andrew Shank. And I'm Deborah Arbeck. Tonight, four police officers from Trois-Rivières have been suspended after the release of a shocking video. The tape shows officers punching and kicking a man during an arrest. Now, we're going to show it to you, but Sabrina Marandola is going to set this all up for us. So, Sabrina, you spent the day in Trois-Rivières, and people are really talking about this. That's right, Andrew. This video has been in the public domain for about 24 hours, and already it's uh, been seen by mayors, police chiefs, even cabinet ministers at the National Assembly in Quebec City have watched this video, and they all say they're very upset and very disturbed at what it shows. The man lying on the ground is 19-year-old Alexis Vedbancar. He's a suspect in an armed robbery. Vedbancar lies down on the ground with his arms stretched out. Officers approach and begin to kick and punch him. Now that Bancar's lawyer says his client is still suffering from his injuries. What the video doesn't show is the, all the bruises and that he's uh, suffered at the hands of the police, especially in his testicles. The police chief of Trois-Rivières also saw the tape. He says it's left him angry and disappointed. I saw the video and uh, I think that uh, the, the video is... Uh, is a very uh, is very clear and when you when you look what you see uh, you you think that uh, it's uh, it's not uh, it's not correct in their police report the officers wrote they had to use force because they felt their lives were in danger that angers the mayor of Trois-Rivières now that he's seen the video. Uh, worse also is that the, the report they produced after the uh, arrestment uh, was saying that they had to use force uh, to uh, to uh, intervene the, the suspect because he was, uh, he was uh, uh, hard to arrest. And uh, when we see the video, it was completely the, the contrary. But the head of Quebec's municipal police forces says the officers are innocent until proven guilty. People shouldn't jump to conclusions, he says. They have the right to the presumption of innocence. Quebec's public security minister refused to comment on the video, but he does agree with suspending the four officers. I think the uh, good decisions have been made so far. But the suspension isn't nearly enough, according to Vad Bancar's lawyer. The video is there. You need not to be an expert in investigation to see that something very wrong has been done. Now, the case has been turned over to the provincial police force. The Sûreté du Québec will investigate the incident. The officers remain suspended with pay for an indeterminate amount of time. As for the suspect, Alexis Vadbancar, he remains behind bars. His bail hearing has been put off until mid-March. Andrew. All right. Thanks, Sabrina.